I'm Morgan. And you'll learn about my co my colleagues later. Anyway, I, well, we, mostly me, we are going to tell you about Joseph Lister. He was a very important, very important scientist. Well, more so a dentist than a scientist, but whatever. He was born in Upton, Essex, England in, when was it, John? I forget. 18, 1827. 1827, that's it. And he was the first person to use carbolic acid as a use for, mm, should I say, sterilizing the wound. Because before that, when any, when anyone would get cut or when they would, I don't, I don't know, get their arm chopped off, they would have to cauterize it using something extremely hot and extremely painful. And it, it caused more infection. So they, they, didn't, they didn't really understand that. They just thought that, that hey, we're going to burn it to kill all the bacteria. And then they just died mysteriously a week later. Anyway, so what we've done is we've we've studied Joseph Lister. We we took his product, which was named after him, Listerine. You you all, you're all familiar with it. It's a mouthwash and it burns like something you've never burnt before. Anyway, now what we've done is we've decided that. Listerine could could have been it had it been invented in that time we decided that it could have been useful as you know something to sterilize the wound because it contains alcohol and you know it's essentially carbolic acid anyway what we've done is we did it against their will so hopefully they don't call the bobbies on us but we've taken two test subjects and we've given them oral surgery now now, when I say oral surgery, I mean like root canals, wisdom teeth extraction, this kind of thing. And what we've done is, we took something extremely hot, we shoved it all up in the other one's mouth, just to cauterize their gum wound. Now, you'll find out what happened to that guy later. But, we also took another man, and we used carbolic acid into his mouth. We used it, we poured it all up in his face hole. And it... As, so we think that it killed all the bacteria. Now, we're not sure. We'll have to check in with him later. But, as far as we know, it worked. Now, I could be wrong. I could be right. Or I could be right once more. But, I think I'm right, and that, that's just me. Now, we'll check back later. Oh. Well, I had something else to say, but I don't. Anyway, bye! I'm Morgan, and this is test subject number one. Some of you might know, 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 might know him as Sean, but using the methods we're going to use, he might not be around much longer. Don't, don't, don't worry about that. You'll, you'll be all right. I'll be right. Basically, okay. we called him in today. We know, we know this gentleman from multiple ways, but we called him in today because we're going to perform oral surgery on him. Isn't that right, Sean? Yeah, right? That's right. right? That's, what, that's, that's okay. what I told you. Anyway, now, for this subject, we are going to shove something extremely hot into his mouth as to kill the germs. Now, I might not have told him about that part, but since he's already here, he can't get away. So, hey, 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 get up in there. Anyway, now, this is only test subject number one. Now, you're about to meet test subject number two, who is mm, more likely to, well, well we're, we're going to give the same surgery to them too. But how we treat how we treat them after it really depends. Anyway, so we'll check back soon. Hey y'all, I'm Sammy. I don't have an accent like this for right here. Know what I'm doing here? But he is about to have oral surgery. Why have you dragged me here? We're gonna use. Carbolic acid, aka Listerine, oh oh to kill the germs. Oh Unlike the other fool that came in, who's gonna get burned in his mouth. So oh oh it's gonna be fun. Oh You're oh gonna oh be okay. Oh my god, are you experienced? You know how to perform surgery? Sort of. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I'm trapped! Get me out of here! I've got money! No! Good morning, welcome back. Now, what we've just done is we've performed, we've performed, pardon me, we've performed oral surgery on this lovely gent here. Now, we don't have a lot of 
how some might say, knowledge of oral surgery, so we may not have done it right. But the important thing is that we cut them up real good because we're going to cauterize these wounds with this instrument that I just recently heated up on one of those Bunsen burners there. Anyway, why they have a Bunsen burner in a dentist office? I don't know. I'm not a dentist. Anyway, let's get started. Now, this part of the video may be a bit disturbing. So, if you're young, please, chill your eyes. Right. How are you doing, John? I'm okay. You okay? I'm okay. All right, now, I, I'm going to have to be honest with you. You might find this next part a bit... How might I, how I want to put it? Hot. What? what? Ah! 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 Okay, that's disgusting. All right, now we'll check back in with Sean in a few days. Now we're gonna bring you over to test subject number two after his oral surgery. Actually, what time is it? Nah, we've got time for tea, so we're going to take a short break. When we come back, then we'll find out about test subject number two. So I've got to go. Bye. Okay. He has just had oral surgery, Wait, what? so he's going to gargle this to kill all the bacteria. What? Here you go. Okay. This isn't going to burn or anything, right? Because, you know, I have some problems on the inside and out. Oh, you'll be fine. Oh, okay. Minty fresh. Uh. Good. Uh. Hello. Now, finally, we're going to check in on our number one test subject. And I say number one, not because he's number one, but because he came first. Now, after this, I don't, I don't quite know what's going on with test subject number one. But after this, we're going to see test subject number two. And I haven't personally met that guy, but I hear he's a stand-up gent. Anyway, here we go. He was supposed to be alive. What? Why didn't the thing that we shoved up in his mouth work? Why? Well, ladies and gentlemen, he's dead. Now, I'll have to get him for a closer look. Let me see. Slight discoloration around the frontal face hole. So, my diagnosis, bacterial infection from the inside of the mouth. And the human mouth the human mouth is already one of the filthiest things on the planet. So adding more bacteria to the mix doesn't help you at all. Well, now we know. So it's a sad day when we accidentally killed one of our test subjects. Anyway, we've got to check up on test number two. Now, I've actually got to go because I haven't met this guy yet, so I've got to go find him. What'd you say is that, Sammy? I don't, where'd you, I, I can't remember, didn't you say you had tea with him a couple of nights ago? Where'd you last see oh, him? Oh, yeah, 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 and some scones. It was good, it was delicious. Yeah, where'd you last see him? Oh, you know, a couple of hours ago. Okay, I guess I'll, I guess I'll go search. Alright, see you guys later. Okay, we are back with test subject number two. Mm. How do you feel? I feel good. I don't feel infected. I mean, 
I mean, when you guys said oral surgery, I didn't think you were, you were going to remove all my teeth. But um, anyway, I, I, I feel fine. Uh -huh. uh, no infection. I don't think I'm going to die anytime soon. Uh -huh. Huh. Interesting. So, tell me. What did you guys get the idea from using carbolic acid to sterilize the wound again? Joseph Lister, actually. Really? Yeah, they used to Joseph burn her mouth. Or just like just in here, like hmm. he just tried it on here and it just didn't work, so you were the lucky one. Just circuit number one, huh? Yeah. Oh, you mean the other guy who was right here with me in the yeah. back of a van, blindfolds over our eyes, pitch balls in our backs. Mm -hmm. Well, but I'm alive. It was my brother, though. Anyway. anyway. Oh, you guys can film this entire event? Wow, I don't find that cool. Yeah, we gotta I think, I, capture the moment. I think this is illegal. I think I'm gonna run off and not report you, you to the down. authorities. I think you better sit down. Oh, okay. Alright. Stay. And we'll be back. Hey. Hi. Hello. Sure there, I? Hi, I'm Morgan, that's Sean, and that's Sammy. Now, we've learned a lot over the past mm, 30 minutes. We've learned that, Sean, tell me what we learned about colorization. Let's go ahead. Um, it does not work. All it does is create more bacteria. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Which is not a good thing. Interesting. Interesting. Fine, fine, fine gent, that is. Sammy. What do we learn about chemicals? It's better to use than a burning instrument. Because mm. it kills bacteria and it doesn't kill the person. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. And I learned that these people are just the finest people you'll ever have uh, the opportunity to work with. And I also learned that by speaking with an accent for mm, an extended period of time, it'll kind of sneak into your regular conversation. Unbeknownst to you. Also, I learned about Joseph Lister, one of my new personal heroes. If I was a super duper nerd. Anyway, we've actually got to go. There's a class going on. All the people who are watching this right now are in there at this, at this very moment, working on their own projects, which will be sure to be seen. Anyway, gotta go.